Hello, everyone. This is your Sunday evening KRQE.com webcast. Here's Ian Schwartz with a look at your forecast. Thanks, Jessica. We did have some storms in the northern mountains and the northeast, not as many as yesterday. For tomorrow, we're going to continue with the heat. We're looking at 100 degree readings in southeast New Mexico. Northeast New Mexico gets a little bit of a break. Cold front pulls in, it's dragging some moisture with it. That's going to help us fire off some thunderstorms tomorrow afternoon. I'm sorry, guys, I hit the button twice. Hello, everyone. This is your Sunday evening KRQE.com webcast. Here's Ian Schwartz with a look at your forecast. Mostly sunny skies for today. We had some storms in the north and the northeast for tomorrow. The heat attacks once again. 100 degree readings in the southeast. We're looking at temperatures in the low to mid 90s in Albuquerque. The northeast will get a cold front pulling in. It's going to help fire off thunderstorms for tomorrow afternoon. Some will creep as far as the central mountain chain. Here in Albuquerque and places to the west, looking at mainly dry thunderstorms if we do see them. As we get into Tuesday, we'll keep storm chances in the east, but dry air is going to start to invade from the west and then. As we get into Wednesday and beyond, start to push that moisture to the eastern side of the state. We're going to continue with the heat, though, in Albuquerque. The seven day forecast doesn't look all that great. We're looking at a high of 94 and then only dropping down to the low 90s. Slight chance of storms for Monday, but really, we're done by Tuesday afternoon. Well, the doors to the pit opened at 6 30 Sunday evening for what could be one of the biggest memorial services in New Mexico. As many as 8,000 fans expected to say their final goodbyes to legendary boxer Johnny Tapia. Fans started lining up at 7 in the morning. We're not sure what familiar faces will be speaking there tonight at the memorial. Tapia's longtime rival Danny Romero said he won't be there because he didn't want to be a distraction. Tapia's casket will be inside of a boxing ring at the center court of the pit. It was at the pit that helped put legendary boxer Johnny Tapia on the map. He won his first world championship there in 1994. The thousands that loved him then say they'll love him forever. The doors will open at 6.30 for the viewing. Then the memorial starts at 8 and will last until about 10 tonight. Many of the people who have been waiting there all day says they have a personal connection with Tapia that includes some of the kids who train at Tapia's gym. We're part of the team. We're like family to them. We know them, we, we pay, we're respectful. We don't come here with our phones just taking pictures of the popular people. We're here for the family. Tapia's family is paying for all of the services tonight. We'll show you what happened during the memorial tonight at 10. The largest wildfire in New Mexico state history only continues to grow. The Whitewater Baldy Complex fire has now grown to more than 241,000 acres. Today, fire crews will continue to monitor the blaze, work on mop ups, and construct containment lines. The Catron County Sheriff's Office will lift the evacuation order in the privately owned ghost town of Mogollon tomorrow. To residents and business owners, the town will be open to the public on Wednesday. The blaze is now 17% contained. And the Alexis fire burning eight miles northeast of Hondo has destroyed about 500 acres. So far, the blaze is 0% contained. No structures are threatened. No word yet on what started the fire. And stay with News 13 for more weather and news updates. Thanks for logging on.